I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, and I'm an oculoplastic surgeon from Beverly Hills, California. There are two main muscles in the eyelid that are responsible for lifting the eyelid. The levator muscle, which opens the eye, is a voluntary muscle and lifts the lid about 14 millimeters. The Mueller's muscle is a smooth muscle that cannot be controlled and needs to be stimulated to lift the eyelid. As you can see in this image, the levator muscle fibers go into the skin and that's how the lid crease forms. When the muscle stretches and pulls back, the lid crease gets higher because the fibers are higher up into the skin. So a higher lid crease is a sign of ptosis. Low-lying eyelids are a common concern for aesthetic patients and are easily identified if you know what you're looking for. Here are three quick steps to conduct a lid assessment that should only take you a few seconds. In picture one, can you see her full iris, the colored part of the eye, or does the lid margin hang below the upper edge of the iris? In picture two, can you see that her eyelids are uneven or how one eye appears smaller than the other? Finally, in picture three, do you notice the gap between her lash line and the upper eyelid crease, and that there is a more distinct upper eyelid platform showing. These are things you should start looking for, and keep in mind that low-lying eyelids may affect one or both eyes in adults of all ages, and can contribute to the asymmetrical appearance. Like anything else in medicine, you should also consider the potential for more serious conditions. Signs to look for include new onset of unilateral ptosis, especially with pain, unequal pupils, double vision that resolves when one eye is closed, and or a lack of mobility in one or both eyes. If an eye is turned outward, they might have a third nerve palsy. These are neurological issues that are more emergent, and while uncommon, you should always refer these patients out to an ophthalmic specialist. Let's look at how you would assess a patient. Usually the upper eyelid should be about a millimeter just above the limbus, which is slightly darker ring between the cornea and the sclera, the whites of the eye. So the question is, can you see the full iris? Not on this patient. Are the lids symmetric? Maybe just a little bit asymmetric here. Do they have a high lid platform? And they do. More of the upper eyelid is showing. So this patient has ptosis.